This is an older Volvo Penta manifold. And uh, brand new. It's only been on there six months. And this is the water. And it would not go in here. So I took this freeze plug off. And the water still won't go through that hole in a brand new manifold. So uh, I notice it does have some corrosion in there, so I'm going to try to blast it out. The other thing that happened was this freeze plug was all the way down in there and had plugged these two passages so it couldn't go from this passage to that passage. I'm not sure how the water gets from A to B, but uh, I thought I'd show you that, that that's uh, a way to look at this manifold. This is brand new. Water won't go through there. So we'll see if we can get it unplugged. Otherwise, I'm going to send it back to the manufacturer. Okay, this is a new manifold from the same manufacturer, brand new out of the box. I want to pressure test test this one. Make sure it flows. Basically, the water goes in here, travels down through the manifold, back through here. That's your drain plug, and it should come out these ho holes. So, basically, your boat will never probably see that much water, but it does have quite a bit of pressure coming from your seawater pump. Because that's how I knew something was wrong with mine, is because it would pressure up and come off. Okay, so that's without a gasket, and that's got great flow through there. And it's not back pressuring up too much. What was happening is, this was back pressuring and blowing off, blowing off the tube that went to the engine, actually back pressuring and blowing it off the uh, heat exchanger. So basically, that has to flow really good, not be plugged up. The other one wouldn't flow anything. It had a blockage uh, in the other clip. You'll see that there's a blockage. I took that plug out and there was a blockage in there. So this one looks good. I shouldn't have any more overheating problems with this one. So we're going to put it on and then I'll show another test of that one once it's installed. All right, I wanted to show you this manifold assembled back on here. Again, this was another thing where I just got putting it back together and really didn't videotape it but I wanted to show you it back on the engine basically there's a screw back there you just uh, undo those two and slide this down on the pipe you undo all these screws uh, thing to remember is to put this lift thing on there's a screw in the back so assemble that when it's off the pipe that I was talking about uh, it's so dark you can't see it but there's a pipe that comes into this heat exchanger that goes back there. And that's the pipe that I was saying that would blow off. It was not going into the manifold. And it was actually leaking right here. It was trying to push this off. The pipe that runs back there. Because the pipe runs from the heat exchanger and a tube. And goes to the back. And then it goes through this... Uh, thing and then back out the side but you have to take these off these bolts there's one underneath there that's a like a clip you got to get that off and basically uh, take all these bolts off so it's not too bad it's real heavy it's easier the gaskets got to go in down there so it's easier to have two people do this I had my wife help me uh, basically start the bolts and that's uh, basically a picture of that thing reinstalled back on the engine.